Hey guys, Crystal here. Um, I just got back from the library with my kids. They were having a special pop-up sale. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the haul I got. Alright, so I have a whole table filled here with books. Alright, so here I have, like, my son helped me. I did, we did two trips because it apparently was half off. So that was kind of a good deal. Um, so a lot of these books I got for super cheap. I figured some of these would be wonderful to add to our homeschool collection. I grabbed some of these fun ones. Some of these I'm going to have to go through um, and see what they are before I add them to our library. Alright, some of these I knew would be really cool. I remember reading when I came back with my son. He saw these and these are the Choose Your Own Adventure. And like for these they were 50 cents but they were actually 25 cents. And all the ones that have it either crossed out or no no um price on them at all we're all like three for a dollar so these are pretty good and so like some of these like 50 cents for this one i was like that's not bad maybe the kids would enjoy these this one the lady who was down there recommended it, it was about kids that went back in time this i was like oh i've got some unicorn lovers that'd be perfect this i figured it would be cute for the little has stickers in it and some of them have been used but i figured you know what, this, for the story, I think they'll really love it. Okay, then a Bill Nye, the science guy. And Nicholas, he absolutely loves the ocean. So it's cute. And then I let the littles kind of pick out some of these books, too. This is another one that Nicholas thought would be kind of fun. And Elizabeth picked this one out. And this, I thought, was like a steal. So these ones are for more of the older kids. But these were three for a dollar. And they are like some good history books. And like they're not thin. You can zoom back out. Like they are some thick books. Some good illustrations. Some really good information. So I was pretty excited about that. And then Rachel's really been into Abraham Lincoln. And they had some of these here. And then, of course, she read some from the library. We walked away from the library with a whole, whole wagon full, and she thought that was really fun. The eighth one. Jennifer's really into Egypt still, and so she picked this book out. And the Harriet the Spy one. And these, and these are kind of like the ones I'm going to have to probably read them real quick first to see what's in them, because I haven't heard of them, so I don't know. These ones I kind of got for myself. I saw a whole section on Christianity and I got kind of excited. Charles Stanley is such an amazing person, so I figured that would be kind of cool. And then this one I thought would be kind of fun. Um, I think it's a little old for Jennifer, but I'll read it. And if I think she's able to read it, I'll give it to her. Okay, with And then this one looks really kind of fun. And here's some more ones that Kimmy picked. And then here's some more that Nicholas picked. This is one I just thought would be really cute for the kids. And then this is one that Elizabeth picked. And then last one. So we had a lot of fun at the library. We brought our big wagon. And the kids also filled that up with books to bring home. And it's just never ending. It's just one of those really wonderful gifts that we have. Where I have, my problem is, is my kids want to read too many books and they get bored. Sometimes they reread a lot of the books, but there's a few of them that they just read once and then they're done. But with six kids, you know, they kind of usually pass down to the next and the next and the next. Um, but other for this kind of hodgepodge hole now, um, I paid a total of $12.75. So I really thought that was a pretty good deal. I was pretty excited about it. My budget my husband gave me was 20 bucks, and I went well under that. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day.